Ever wondered how far away the stars are? Well, it's a question that has intrigued humanity for centuries. As we gaze up at the night sky, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the vastness of our universe. But how do scientists actually measure these mind-boggling distances? They use what's called an astronomical unit, a standard yardstick for measuring space. Think of it like a cosmic measuring tape. Now there are two main methods we use to measure the distance to stars. The first is called parallax, a technique based on observing the apparent motion of stars. The second is through Cepheid variables, a type of star that pulsates at a rate directly related to its brightness, allowing us to calculate how far away it is. Both methods are like cosmic detective work, helping us uncover the mysteries of our universe. So, are you ready to journey into the cosmos and unravel the secrets of star distances? Let's start with our first method, parallax, a geometric trick that has been helping us measure star distances for centuries. Picture a vast triangle in space. The base of this triangle is as wide as Earth's orbit around the Sun, while the third point is a nearby star. Now imagine Earth at one end of the baseline in January, and then at the other end in July. As Earth moves, our perspective of the star changes slightly, creating a shift against the backdrop of distant stars. This shift is the parallax. Now, what's fascinating is that the larger the parallax, the closer the star is to us. Think of it as looking down a straight road. The road signs close to you seem to move more as you drive past them than the ones far away. The same principle applies to stars. But how do we measure this parallax? Well, we use a unit called arc seconds. One arc second is equivalent to the angle created when a circle is divided into 360 degrees, each degree into 60 minutes and each minute into 60 seconds. A star with a parallax of one arc second is said to be at a distance of one parsec, which is approximately 3.26 light years. This method, however, has its limitations. Stars further than a few hundred parsecs away have such small parallaxes that they're incredibly challenging to measure even with our most powerful telescopes. But for those within our cosmic neighborhood, parallax provides a reliable and direct measurement of distance. So, we've got this enormous celestial triangle, right? And we know two of its angles and one of its sides, the baseline, which is the diameter of Earth's orbit around the Sun. With a little bit of trigonometry, we can solve for the other sides and figure out the distance to the star. Just like that, with a little bit of trigonometry, we can figure out how far away a star is. But what about the stars that are too distant for the parallax method? For stars that are too far away for the parallax method, we turn to our cosmic lighthouses, the Cepheid variables. Imagine a lighthouse, its light pulsating rhythmically, guiding the way through the darkest night. Now, picture that lighthouse in the vast expanse of space, its light not just cutting through the darkness, but also the immense distances reaching us from millions of light years away. This is essentially what Cepheid variables are. Cosmic lighthouses. Cepheid variables are a type of star that pulsates radially, varying in both diameter and temperature, and producing changes in brightness with a well-defined stable period and amplitude. This means that they brighten and dim over regular periods from a few days to a few weeks. But what makes these celestial objects so special, and why do we call them our cosmic lighthouses? The unique aspect of Cepheid variables is that the period of this pulsation, the time it takes for the star to go from bright to dim and back to bright again, is directly related to the star's intrinsic brightness, its luminosity. This is known as the period luminosity relation. By observing the period of a Cepheid variable, we can determine its intrinsic brightness. And by comparing this intrinsic brightness with how bright the star appears to us here on Earth, its apparent brightness, we can calculate the distance to the star. This method of distance measurement is known as the Cepheid variable method and it has been instrumental in expanding our cosmic horizon. It has allowed us to measure distances to stars and galaxies far beyond the reach of the parallax method, including some that are millions of light years away. Using these cosmic lighthouses, we have measured distances to galaxies millions of light years away, expanding our cosmic horizon. The Cepheid variables continue to light our way, guiding us through the vast and wondrous expanse of the universe. So there you have it, the cosmic yardstick that helps us map the universe. We've journeyed through the enlightening process of star distance measurement, from the geometry of space that is parallax, to the cosmic lighthouses known as Cepheid variables. They are the celestial tools that navigate us through the cosmos, offering a glimpse into the universe's staggering size and stunning architecture. 
Next time you gaze at the stars, remember, it's not just about their beauty, but also the incredible cosmic yardstick that allows us to explore the universe's vast expanse.